My son was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. He was quite severe on the scale. He didn't speak. Um, if he wanted something, he would bring it to us because he couldn't vocalize anything. Um, he was incessant blinking. His blinking was non-stop. So you go in public and people always stare at you and think, oh, what's with that little boy? And then my, my husband had gone away on a trip for five days and he came back and of course my other children ran right to my husband at the front door. Colton ran right past him to get out the door to play. Didn't even know that his dad had come home or that he was missing for five days. He had no clue. Yeah, he didn't play. He didn't pretend play like most normal kids do. There was none of that. Um, he lined everything up in a straight line. Uh, he did some self-stimulatory behavior. He would take his hands across his eyes all the time like this and blink non-stop. So it was really, and no eye contact. There was no eye contact whatsoever. Um, so to get him to try to focus or even to, you know, get him to come to the table to have dinner and stuff was a chore. He just would run off. He didn't understand what we wanted him to do. He just didn't have that ability to talk to us and to communicate and say, Mommy, I want or I would like. He never did any of that. None. Yeah, he was really severe on the scale. We got in to see the pediatrician. He diagnosed him with autism um, and really didn't offer us much in the way of where our future for our son was going to go. It looked pretty bleak at the time because he didn't say, you know, we can give him meds for this or that. And I don't want him on meds that he, like you're not treating him for behavior. He's not out of control. I don't want him on medication for that. I don't. There's a lot of side effects with that. And I didn't want that for our son. So then I went with my niece, Lori. We came to see Dr. Rader. Landon came for a treatment and I came with them for my son's treatment. And within 24 hours, there was a difference in my son. A big difference. The first thing we noticed um, was the blinking. The blinking had completely stopped within 24 hours. Completely. And I mean it was incessant. He never stopped blinking all the time and people stared all the time at us. Um, that stopped completely. And then we got into the van and we went for a drive and he put down his iPad and prior to that he played on his iPad. That was kind of his his safe zone. He could just be there and be locked into his own world and do his own thing. He put the iPad down and was looking out the window at everything going by. It was shocking. I, I couldn't believe it. So he put the iPad down. He became definitely more aware of his surroundings, hands down. Um, within that time, um, he started saying auntie in the hotel. He said to Lori, auntie, auntie, auntie. Never said that before, ever. Um, so that was really good. We came back on the airplane. Uh, we landed down in Calgary. My husband was waiting there for us and my other two children. And for the first time ever, my son ran to my husband and looked at him. And that was something amazing for us. Oh, I felt amazing because I could see my little boy coming back. And then when we got home, he just continued to make gains. I mean, incredible gains. Like, he now sings ABCs. He does Itsy Bitsy Spider, um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. He greets us at the door every day. When my husband comes home from work every day, my little boy runs to him and he says, Daddy, he never did that before. He didn't even know we existed. I swear to God, he did not know. And he knows now. It has been just about a year. A, oh, sorry, a year in March we went. Yeah. And my son is completely different. He, we got our son back thanks to Dr. Rader. He communicates. He brings stuff to us. He'll hand it to us now. He'll say, help, please. Um, even at, he goes to a, a program now, because he's now started play school, and um, they're amazed with the gains he's made. He now writes out his letters, ABCs. Um, he says the letters, mm, like M. He says, mommy, daddy, uh, sissy for sister. 
He calls his big brother Cade. Um, Grandma comes to the house now and anybody can ring that front doorbell and my son goes running to the door to see who's coming there to greet them. And then when they leave, my son will wave to them and say bye-bye. Those stem cells were a miracle. They really, truly were. You did. Okay, do it again. Okay. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Ready? Down came the rain and washed the spider out.